In a few days here, Kyle and I are going to do a backpacking trip in West Virginia, so I thought I'd make a video going through my gear and, and how I pack for it. This is the backpack I'm going to be using. It's a Mountain Equipment Co-op Sprint or Spirit 30, I can't remember which one. Uh, Mountain Equipment Co-op is the, is the brand as well, uh, so I bought it from the store and it's, it's their brand. It's a good pack, I've used it a lot for a few years now, a couple years. Um, I like this outside zip, zipper compartment where you can put your wet stuff or whatever. And then also it's a pocket here. Uh, I've got the poles to my tent on the outside, my cup and my water bottle on the other side. And I got it cinched down real good. Without food and water, it weighed 16 pounds. So with food and water, I'm gonna be right just under 30, I think. So as always on a backpacking trip, I'm trying to bring as least amount of gear as possible. And I've really narrowed it down this time. So let's go through a couple things real quick first. Um, we're going to the Dolly Sods area in West Virginia and it's planning, or it's, it's calling for rain. <clears throat> so my rain gear, okay. My rain gear is going to go at the top of my pack so I can access it very well. This is um, Mountain Hardware, tops and bottom. They're light, very light, and I can pack them down smaller than this. I just got a, this one with an elastic around it and this one just rolled up. So those are going to go on the top of my bag, easily access accessible. My Primloft, my Mountain Equipment Co-op uh, Primloft is going to be on the top as well. I'll be wearing it on and off, I know it. I have these gloves, these little, like, uh, factory nitrile gloves that I can get uh, for free from work. So these are like a one-time use glove, but they're, they're enough to keep the wind off me and uh, keep my hands from getting too beat up. And they're light, 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 and they pack down to nothing. I like them a lot. They're useful. I've used them a few times. Uh, other ones. Uh, my beanie, my toque, my toboggan, if you're in the States, whatever you want to call it, is a Merino Wool Icebreakers brand. I wear it a lot. These are my extra clothes. Uh, I will open it and show you what I have. So I have clothes that I'm going to wear in, and then these are my extras. We're only going for three days, two nights. So I don't, I'm not bringing a lot at all. This is an outdoor research um, waterproof still nylon bag. It's lightweight and I just, it'll keep my, my stuff that I need to keep dry, dry. So an extra pair of icebreaker wool socks, Stanfield's Polar Therm long underwear, uh, again long underwear, and a long underwear shirt. That's the extent of my extra clothes. I'm going to be wearing my clothes, and when it starts to rain, I'm going to say if it rains, I'm going to take off my pants. I'll be wearing uh, North Face nylon pants. I'm going to take those off and wear my, my long johns underneath my uh, rain gear, and I'll keep my pants dry for the next day or the night. So that's how that's going to go. Um, what else? So my tent. This is something new for me. My buddy Dustin hooked me up big time with his tent. Thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it. This is a Big Agnes Steamboat. No, nope, that's from... I don't know what model it is. I'll put it in the description anyway. So originally, this comes in here. It's two pounds for, for the whole setup, the, the tent and the poles. That comes in there, and, and it's really, really lightweight. But my whole problem is I want to fit my, bag, my, my tent inside my bag, my backpack. I don't want it to get wet. So if I take the poles out and just strap the poles to the outside, I don't care if these poles get wet. And now the tent doesn't have to be long like that. It can compress even more so than it already does or flat. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. The poles are going to go on the outside strapped to the bag. The tent is going to go on the inside. This is a one man uh, glorified bivy. It's, it's very small, but it's all I need. And it's actually roomy enough that I can sit up in it and change. No problem. I've only set this up once in my front yard to test it out and setting it up was super intuitive. Bay Agnes, I'll put the specific name in the link. Uh, as far as sleeping pad, you guys see me go through this a couple times recently. This is that uh, Astro, Nemo Astro Air Light 20R. Again, 20R is not the value, it's the name. It's a warm weather pad, but I'm bringing a warm bag and I'm saving weight and space on bringing this um, warm weather pad. This pad has a pillow built into it, so I'm not bringing a pillow. I always bring a down pillow, but I don't need to because of the baffles in this. My sleeping bag, again, 
Mountain Hardware, negative seven, or if you're American, 20 degree bag, down bag, in a compression sack. That'll keep me warm. Ugh. Got a first aid kit with basic stuff in here. Duct tape, painkillers, uh, gauze, and bandages. Sorry about that. I have a silky saw for tools and my Swiss Army Victorinox Farmer. That's the only tools I'm bringing. I'm going with Kyle. He's bringing uh, Grants for his mini. To cook in, I have my Titanium Snow Peak uh, solo kit. I have the lid as well and my, my water, my Nalgene. I'm also bringing this kind of Nalgene. This fits 48 ounces and it breaks down. So for water purification, Kyle's bringing um, Aquamira drops. So I don't have to bring a filter or anything to purify, but it might need, mean that we need to put a bunch in a bag uh, in order not to have to just fill up one, nal one Nalgene at a time. So I'm bringing this just in case. And it holds up, it's, it's no big deal. Um, as far as video ta videotaping and taking pictures, I'm not bringing my DSLR on this trip. I just recently, actually Kyle has it for me, got a GoPro Silver, a GoPro 4 Hero Silver. The one with the LCD screen on the back. So that's what I'll be using to, to film. It's gonna look a little different than my normal stuff, that's for sure. And I probably won't get it right because it's my first time using it. But I have an extra battery for it, and I have this tiny Gorilla Pod I'm gonna use for it. So my camera gear is gonna be lightweight this trip, which is awesome. What else? I have sunglasses, obviously. This bag has all my little odds and ends in it, and I only have one bag of that. Everything else is like contained in itself. But in this small odds and ends bag, it's actually the bag that comes with my um, sleeping pad. So it has a repair kit attached in it. I have emergency fire kit, which is strike anywhere matches, stormproof matches, and um, little sawdust puck thing that you can light on fire really easily. Toilet paper and baby wipes pain meds and anti-diarrhea meds which is super important and my headlamp and a lighter a mini bic lighter just in case i'm not bringing a fire still this trip it's matches or a lighter or unless kyle has his fire still we use it that way everything's taken care of now except for food okay let me just do it i'll get right back to you the way that we're doing this trip is I'm driving to Kyle's house, which is near Columbus, Ohio. Then from there, we're driving to West Virginia. So he doesn't get done work till four. We're not starting the trip to West Virginia until about 4.30. Puts us there about 11 o'clock at night, if we're lucky, something around, something like that anyways. So what we'll be doing is, is eating uh, at restaurants or whatever on the way, sleeping in the parking lot, and getting up and making breakfast and then heading out from there. So I'm not going to include that stuff in my stuff here. I have oatmeal for that morning, but I'm not packing it, so I'm not counting it. That's gonna be like in my car bag. I really tried to dial my food in this time for this trip, and I think I did a pretty good job. So I'll just start off. Um, for morning, for breakfast, I have two packs of oatmeal and two packs of raisins, and those will all be eaten together. For lunch, I have, I have two of these uh, salami sticks. They're dried salami. Uh, one for each day, and a half of a uh, brick of Havard jalapeno Havarti each day for lunch. That's a lot of lunch, okay? I'll be fine with that for lunch. For snacks, I have each day three bars. I have uh, Nature Valley bars here. And then for supper, it's going to be Mountain House. This one is uh, grilled chicken breast with mashed potatoes. And then at night, one tea, a honey lemon tea, okay? Next day, it's the same thing, except for I have a Snickers bar in there and my chicken teriyaki with rice is my supper. Now I've also brought in that mesh bag, I'm gonna have um, my stove, my canister and my stove, pocket rocket, my lid to my titanium cup, and my spork, as well as extra. I I'm bringing one extra uh, Lipton soup lunch thing in case I'm freezing cold on the trail and just I'll throw that in my stove and cook it up real quick. I have an Airheads and some of my daughter's like, princess gummy bears. <laughs> And it'll fit all into this yellow mesh bag. And I'm using this yellow mesh bag for a reason. I, I want to be able to see what food is where. And I want to be able to take it out without, having, without taking out all the other food to get to it. 
the stove canister isn't going in there. That's the only thing. I forgot to mention I'll bring my Reflectix as well, but that's a given. It goes right in the back of my pack. My pack doesn't have a frame on it, so that kind of adds to the frame or framework, what would be a frame. First goes my sleep bag sideways. Next, I'm going to put my tent sideways. I'm going to smush it in there. Next, my sleeping pad. These are all things I'm doing this on purpose, like in for a reason in, in the way I'm putting it in. Uh, well, after that goes my clothes. My food. My stove. And then things that I don't know if I'm going to wear or not right off the hop. Uh, I'll actually put my rain gear in next. And then have my toque, my gloves, and my Primloft ready to come out regardless because I want to be able to access all of those things even more so than my rain gear if I have to. It's a given I'm going to have to put on my prim off. I might not have to put on my rain gear depending. Um, and then in the top goes the analogy. So Kyle is going to bring an extra tarp and he's going to bring the booze. So it's a liter of booze, weighs almost the same as the tarp with the cords on it. So one of us is going to carry one of those as well in our packs. It's not, it's not going to uh, affect anything at all for me. So my tent, again, my tent poles are going to go on the outside in my pocket. I'm going to buckle two buckles so that they don't go anywhere. And that's going to save me space on the inside. And I really, like I said, don't care if they get wet. It doesn't affect anything. The other side the pocket goes my water inside my nesting cup so that my nesting cup's not just inside my backpack and it could get crushed it's titanium it really it could um, but with this on it and on the outside I have or sorry inside with the Nalgene inside the cup and attached to the outside of my bag I have easy access to my water and I'm protecting my cup that gets clipped too and then all these little odds and ends the GoPro battery my GoPro tripod, my toilet paper, all that stuff is going to go in this top compartment here so I have easy access to it as well. I will keep my Victorinox Swiss Army Farmer in my pocket at all times and I'm going to put my saw, just slide it down in the front. She goes on easy and with my food and water in there I have to go weigh it still but I don't feel like I'm at 30 pounds, not at all. Um, the suspension's good. It actually tightens up as far as I need it to tighten. I have a small waist, and some bags don't. You can got a whistle on there. Pretty good to go, man. I'm gonna run up and quick, quickly weigh this and let you know what it weighs. So my pack weighs 23 pounds with food and water, and I'm ecstatic about that. I can hike, uh, we're trying to do 30 miles in two days, so I, I can hike my 30 miles with, with 23 pounds. I'm not worried about it. Uh, one last thing I wanted to mention was my footwear. Uh, I'm actually wearing trail runners for this trip, and I think that's how it'll be going from now on. Uh, they're just super lightweight. They give me enough ankle support. They're grippy. They're all mesh, so they're, my foot's going to get soaked. There's no, no getting around it. I know it. But my foot gets soaked in my Sorel, my Solomons as well. Uh, my Solomons are Gore-Tex, but that doesn't mean anything. That just means they don't dry as quick. Um, you're still going to get wet regardless. So these are mesh. These will dry, dry, um, and it'll keep my foot better in my mind than hiking boots. So these are Montreal uh, Trail Runners. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something, and be on the lookout for my backpacking trip in about three or four days. Thanks, guys. Bye.